first ever video. Right now, I am getting ready to go to the city to visit my boyfriend. Yes. He goes to school in the city. He's going to the GIA Institute, which is like a gemology school. It's kind of like a trade school, but basically you become a graduate gemologist and then you could be like a jeweler, an appraiser, like so many different jobs. So yeah, he is currently in school for that. So he's living in Queens. It would just be really crazy for him to commute from Long Island every single day. He has to be there at 8 a.m. So he would have to leave at like 4 a.m. to get there on time. I'm going in to visit him today. I'm really excited. I haven't been in the city since my last day of school. If you guys don't know, I commute to FIT. During the semester, I was going into the city like two or three times a week and I would be there for the whole day so I would see him after class and stuff. But now that my semester is over, I don't have a set reason or a set day to go into the city. So I decided to go in today just to have some fun. I'm excited to like be going in and just to hang out because I haven't done that in a while. Honestly, the past year because I was living at FIT and then I started commuting. So I really haven't like just gone into the city for fun at all. I'm excited to like have a day to get back that love for the city that I used to have before it became a chore to go in there. I think we're either going to go to Central Park and maybe like go to the zoo, walk around, or we might go to Dumbo, Brooklyn. It's my favorite spot in the whole like city area. I just love it there so much. The views are literally incredible. I don't know why it's not swamped there all the time because it's beautiful. Actually, the first time I ever saw it, my jaw was on the floor. My boyfriend has never been there, so I really want him to like experience that. We'll see what we're feeling. So right now I'm just doing my makeup and then I just slicked my hair back. It is 12.15 um, and I have to leave in a half hour. So I'm just going to quickly do my makeup and then I'll come back, show you guys my outfit. I have to pack my bag then we can get going. My makeup is done, except for my lips. I'm just gonna do my lips really quick right before I leave. I did like a little natural look and then I have my hair slicked in this spiky bun. Like, looking kind of questionable, the bun, but it's okay. We're gonna go with it. Feels so weird that I'm like talking to a camera right now. This is my outfit. This tank top, it's just like a ribbed material. Um, it's from Brandy. These jeans are from Garage. My shoes are black Converse. And then this jacket is my mom's. All ready to go. Summer rain on a window. Watch the time float on. Cool air blows a memento. As I fall. Shake Shack and now we're walking to well we don't know if we're walking. Where, where are we going? Yeah, we're trying to go to the train station but we don't know if we're walking the right way. It's really hazy out. I don't they probably can't see it, but Nick was informing me that that is from a uh, Canada yeah, we wildfire. Got, we got Canadian wildfires yeah. making everything smoky, smell. We're walking to the train station so that I can go home. He's not Big coming. City girl. Yeah. Don't I look like a city girl today? With my glass. Yeah. In case you guys didn't notice, <laughs> my jacket is literally peeling apart. That's been fun all day. It's been falling all over everything. And even got in my Shake Shack burger. Luckily, I did not eat it. Do you have anything to say? Peace, love, and chicken grease. Went to Central Park, but we couldn't go to the zoo because the zoo closes at 4.30. It's really dumb in my opinion because like kids are in school till like 4 o'clock. So how are they going to go to the zoo? And how are we gonna go to the zoo? But it's okay because we're just gonna go another day. I really wanted to go to see the animals, but it's okay. I'm trying to convince myself it's okay because I'm really upset. <laughs> we sat in the park and we talked. We're sitting on this rock in Central Park and we're just talking, hanging out. This lady comes up behind us. We were sitting on like a big rock that had like divots. She starts pouring her water bottle out into the pool. We just turn around and we're like looking at her like, what are you doing? And she just stared at us. And then she just walked away. <laughs> Watch the strap, it's gonna be oh. a review. Ah, what a YouTuber you are. On the subway, all the way back to the station. Cool 
lip blows a memento. Hi guys, it's the next day. I'm just at work right now. I finished everything I need to do, so I'm just like sitting here waiting for people to call. I just wanted to show you guys my current read. I know I'm late to the game. I'm reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm 115 pages in. So far, I like it. I'm not like obsessed, but it's good. I like like the alternating timeline between the siblings now and then their parents in the past. It's pretty good, so I'm probably going to read some more of this. Also, I did my nails myself the other day. I don't know if you could see, but I just have been painting my nails myself with just regular polish at home. I'm so over the nail salon. I really want to find a nail tech because I am so tired of paying expensive prices for not getting what I want, you know? And I feel like they, at least the ones I've gone to, they don't really treat you great. It's kind of like you're just like an annoyance to them the whole time you're there. Not everybody, but just a lot of the places I've gone to, like around where I live. So I'm just tired of feeling like that and paying for something that I'm not really happy with and sitting in there for like hours on end. Just so bored. Yeah, I just decided to paint my own nails for a while. Also, guys, yesterday when I was in the city, like you guys saw, the air quality was really bad. And Nick had told me that it was from a wildfire. But I didn't really understand like level of how bad it is. So last night... I go to bed, right, at like midnight. I'm totally fine. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and throw up. It's not for sure that it's from like the smoke, but I'm thinking it could be from that because I don't know what else it would be from. I just thought it was weird. So when I woke up this morning, I was fine. And now I feel like weird a little bit, but I'm really wondering if it's from the smoke because we were outside all day. We didn't have masks, which we should have. I didn't realize how bad it was. There wasn't really a lot of stuff on it. And now I've been seeing like all over TikTok and all over the news sites. They're saying like wear a mask and it's super dangerous. Hopefully everybody's staying safe and staying inside. I definitely would have worn a mask outside if I've realized that it was the level of devastation that it was. It is 2.33 right now. I have work till 5 and then I'm just going to go home and probably have dinner with my family. Cruel Summer is like a Hulu original show. The second season of that show came out. If you guys haven't watched that and you like, like thriller mystery shows, definitely I would recommend watching it. And I would definitely recommend the first season as well. I think it came out two years ago. I loved that show and I watched it like every single week when the first season was out. So I'm excited for the new one to be out. I think the first two episodes came out. So I'm going to watch those when I get home. Just a chill day today. Right now we're learning how to cook penne al vodka. Because my sister is basically a chef. And she cooks for her whole family every night. And she's really good. And she's like wants to start a I wanna show you catering though. business. And I can't cook a thing. So yeah, we're learning. We right now I can cook Trader Joe's frozen things. I could cook eggs. And vegetable fried rice. But, well that's Trader Joe's frozen. Okay. <laughs> and the eggs I usually put in the fried rice. So that's pretty much one thing. Also, I can make pasta, just like not that good. I don't make my own sauce. I'm gonna teach but you now how learning. to burn chicken cutlets next week. Well. You can do vegetable stir fry. <laughs> right there, future chef. <laughs> Nine point seven five. <laughs> taste test. What do you think? Hey guys, it's Thursday. Right now I'm in the car about to head to brunch with some of my friends. I'm really excited because some of them I haven't seen since they got home from college. Right after brunch, I have to head straight to work and then I'm gonna be at work pretty much all day. We're going to a place called Toast Coffee House. If you live on Long Island, you know there's like four locations, I think, maybe five. But it's so good, it's so cute. So yeah, I'm excited to catch up with them and I have to go because I am late.
Hey guys, I'm about to change out of my brunch outfit into my work uniform. But I just want to show you guys my outfit quick. So I have this little sweater on. This is from Aerie. These leggings are also from Aerie. These shoes are just white sneakers. They're actually from Marshalls. They're kind of like an Air Force dupe. And my headband is just from Target. Yeah, I'm at work now. Technically, I don't have to wear like a uniform when I'm here during the week because I'm just like doing the phone and stuff. But today I have an appointment. Also, I just don't like to wear my clothes to work because I don't want to get like nail polish on them or anything. <laughs> balanced on the steering wheel i just showered and everything and i'm on my way to work i don't have a long shift at all today it's like two hours it's friday so nick is on his way home from the city right now he comes home on the weekends so after work i'm gonna go hang out with him i didn't really feel much today i just was like relaxing all day i did like some work on my computer editing some writing stuff i did over the semester my journalism professor told me to try to sell my articles that i wrote so i'm trying to like figure out how to do that um if anyone has tips let me know but i'll catch you guys after right now i'm about to start getting ready for my cousin's grad party that i'm going to today i'm just gonna do like a little light makeup look one because it's my cousin and it's just like a backyard grad party but there are like a lot of people going so i want to look cute also because I don't have foundation. I have the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. It's not the right shade, but I don't have like a foundation. So if anyone has foundation recommendations, let me know. I feel like I have to do a light makeup look because I don't have a base. <laughs> so that's great. I'm so excited to see how they like transform the backyard. They have like a big tent and everything. Luckily, the weather is really good. We were getting pretty concerned with the wildfires. The worst day for the fires here on Long Island with like the smoke and everything was Wednesday and they were getting everything delivered on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. So we were getting really worried. Obviously we can't have 60 people sitting outside if in that type of smoke like it was dangerous to even be outside. Last year for my grad party I was so stressed out but it turned out being such a good day and I had a great time. The weather was good. Hopefully she has fun today. I feel like a lot of people are interested in FIT content. If anybody wants to see like FIT related stuff, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I definitely want to make videos about my experience there because, spoiler alert, I actually don't really like FIT. There's definitely good and bad, like my professors and stuff are great. At the end of the day, you're there for the education, so like that's what matters the most. But for any type of college experience, like social life i don't like it there i also lived there fall semester and then i started commuting spring semester so i have the perspective of like a resident and a commuter which could be interesting now that i'm done with a full year i feel like i have a good idea of how things were from this year to last year at this time it feels like 10 years has passed it's so crazy to me that it hasn't even been like a full year since i started college something funny about this channel is that right now as i'm filming this i have no idea how to edit no idea how to upload i don't know how to get this footage off of the camera and onto my computer also update on malibu rising i know i showed you guys that i was reading that on wednesday i have not read it since it's not like intriguing me really like it's not there's nothing going on in it that i'm like oh my god i need to read and see what happens so we'll see i'm definitely gonna finish it it's kind of hard for me to get myself to read it because i'm not like dying to to see what comes next. Oh. Huh? I'm gonna name the camera so I can see. I know we should do it. Pink jumpsuit and oversized jacket to make it a little more casual. I feel like it's giving very much milf. Hi vlog. Let's 
Merci. You have achieved so much over the past 18 years and we're so proud of every last accomplishment but we are most proud of the young woman you have become. We're back from my cousin's grad party. It was a really fun day. Everything was great. It was good to see my family and just like spend some wholesome time with them. I'm in bed now. I just made myself some tea and I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and just relax. I'm watching Brooke Mooney's new vlog. I love her. She's one of the only people who I religiously watch every single week. Like I love her. So I'm about to watch her new vlog and drink my tea. And I'm probably just going to chill and go to bed pretty early tonight. I have to be at work at 8 o'clock tomorrow, even though it's Sunday, which kind of sucks. But it's okay. Hopefully we'll make some money. I am like so obsessed with my room at night. Just these lights I think are so cute. And it's just like so cozy in here. Have my candle going. Good morning guys. Right now I'm in the Starbucks parking lot. I just ordered a drink so I'm just waiting a few minutes for it to be ready. Today I'm working till like 5.30 so it's gonna be a long day. I think some of my favorite co-workers are gonna be there with me. I work at a kid's salon so we do like birthday parties, appointments, events, summer camp, all fun little stuff like that for kids. So today we have four or five recital hair and makeup appointments in the morning and then we have three birthday parties. Also guys, I have been listening to Noah Khan literally non-stop the whole past week. His deluxe version of his album came out and I am obsessed with his music. He had a concert actually this past week in New York. It was on Wednesday, I believe. He is playing again there in August. So I'm gonna try to see if my sister and I could maybe get tickets to the August show because we both are like super fans of him. Hey guys! Hello. <laughs> We're here at Allen It's currently like 8.30 in the morning. And we're just grinding on the candy buffet. Where's yours? Family. <laughs> Here's our outfits of the day, guys. <laughs> Back from work. I just showered and put my pajamas on. And I don't really have any plans for the rest of the night. My sister is actually making pad thai right now. So I'm so excited to eat that. If you guys can't already tell, I am like such a homebody. I am very introverted and I would so much rather stay in than go out most of the time. So hopefully this vlog isn't boring. I feel like I've been doing a decent amount of stuff, but most of my week just consists of hanging out with my family and being home just because that's what I like to do. I feel like vlogging is gonna encourage me to make more plans and do more stuff because I'm gonna wanna have fun stuff to film which will encourage me to actually like go ahead and make plans. You know, being a homebody is fun. I'm normalized being 19 years old, preferring to stay home with your family, just hang out and chill instead of like going out. I do like to go out once in a while, and obviously like to do fun stuff, but I just like being home. And I like being cozy and having like a chill night, and that's when I feel the happiest. So that's what you guys are gonna see a lot of. <laughs> Take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do